Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. If you have not yet subscribed to the Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for more Quantity Surveying related videos. So this video is basically about a checklist of an MEP system that is HVAC system. So if you have watched my previous videos, I've already made videos on the plumbing checklist and the fire protection checklist. So this is another checklist that can be used while carrying out your MEP quantity takeoff. So this checklist or any MEP checklist or any type of checklist is mainly useful once the quantity takeoff is done. So once you fill up this checklist after your takeoff, you'll get an idea of what you have measured and what you have not measured or if you have missed out something in your measurement and the same checklist can be used by the person who is reviewing your quantity takeoff. This one single checklist is enough to get an idea about the particular system of that particular project. So if you see here the columns you will have the unit of measurement so each type of item so i am basically made a breakup of this hvac works according to different subsystems you see you you have chill water system condensed water system refrigerator piping mechanical ventilation for mechanical rooms then the pressurization system mainly this comes for the staircases or fire exits and toilet exhaust system for all the toilets kitchen exhaust system the smoke exhaust system or the car parking exhaust system then the air conditioning system for the different rooms then generator set the exhaust work for a generator set entire hvac works are divided into each subsystem and each subsystem has different types of items you can go through each item if you acquire this checklist like as always you can put your email id in the comment section if you're not able to do that in youtube you can go to my any of my social media account like linkedin facebook instagram you can connect me with any of these profiles and you can just send me a message for this checklist i can send it across so if you see this is another column where it is measured and included in BOQ. So whichever items you have already measured which is there in the drawing and which is included in your BOQ after the quantity takeoff you will be making the BOQ. So item that is measured and included you can give a color against that cell for each item. Then this column is for that items which are not there in the drawing but you have included in the BOQ. Like there might be some Items. you will be having an idea about the system that this particular item should be coming but it is not shown in the drawing so you can assume such items like for example small small ancillaries dampers or diffusers sometimes it will not be shown in the drawing maybe the designer would have forgotten to mention it in their drawing so that you can assume and count and then put those items the those items that have been assumed can be put another color and mark for example if pipe work is measured you can put a color yellow then for pipe insulation is not given in the drawings or in the specification or nowhere in the project documentation so that you can assume pipe insulation should be coming so you can just assume and put another color here for whatever is assumed then comes the column for not applicable not included in boq so it need not be that in a project all these subsystems should be coming sometimes there might be a project where the entire chill water system will not be there so for that all the items can be put in a different color for example if there is and this entire chill water system is not there in a particular project so this entire items can be put in a different color maybe a red color so that means when someone who reviews it can easily understand that okay chill water system is not there in this project and finally there is a column for included under provisional sum these are for items that is there in the project but as of date or while you're doing a quantity take of the design has not been developed but later on in the execution stage or later on once the project begins the design will be developed and it will be included as uh, additional items or accordingly a provisional sum needs to be put for these systems so such items for example chill water system the design maybe in another project you are doing and chill water system is there but the design has not been developed and it is mentioned that this would be put as a provisional sum so an estimate would be put during the tendering stage for that purpose you can just hold this item you can just put a different color so that you will get an idea that okay this system is under the provisional sum it is there but coming under provisional sum so i have tried to include all the items all the subsystems that comes in an hvac system so you can just go through it and hope this will be helpful while your next quantity takeoff so thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye